What's up, guys? What up? CSR. Here we are doing our late night Sunday night Zoom audio. <laughs> oh yeah, let's get it. We're live. So, hey, so let's yeah. What are we, Justin? Say that again. We're kind of live. Yeah, we're kind of we're kind of tired live. live. <laughs> so, Stephen, I know you got to get up early, big dog. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right. Uh, well, we'll jump right into Panthers, man. Seems like this uh, this coaching staff on paper is looking pretty pretty dangerous. What are y'all thinking? Go ahead, Justin. I absolutely love the staff. Yep. Um, the like, it's like a combination of like former players and former like head coaches and all these dudes. I mean. You brought back uh, – I mean, you got Josh McCown as our quarterback coach, which I think is kind of cool. I think that's underrated. Yeah. Um, you brought in D'Angelo Hall. Came out of nowhere. Yeah, I was like, what? Um, uh, who, who did we – who did we bring – the? Um, who am I thinking of, guys? Uh, Dom, Dom Capers. Dom Capers. Oh, Dom Capers. Yeah, you bring him back. Like, he's just putting – he's putting together a squad, dude. Yep. Yeah, it's a bit of a, I think it's a bit of a hodgepodge, but it's, it's a good one. It's it's they they totaled up all the years of experience, um, championships, all that stuff. It's crazy, man. You're even getting um, some some recognition nationally. Um, yeah. Rich Eisen, you know, said something the other day that how much he really liked the staff. I think. Uh, RG3's commented on it. I mean, there's just been a lot of people that have been impressed with it. And, man, I, I mean, Stephen, I think I even responded to you yesterday on text, man. It's just top-notch, man. I mean, I don't, I don't know how else you can say it. So, coaching-wise, I mean, dang, man, we, we, we can't ask the – I mean, the players can't ask for much, much more. That's yeah. right. Um, but we've got to get, we've got to get the players to, to finish the deal. So, you know – We'll get into the draft stuff later, guys. But, you know, I think two of the biggest pieces that we can put in place that will might kind of complete the deal, man, is a quarterback and a tight end. Yep. Um, those seem to be the biggest, in my opinion, the biggest holes. Um, I mean, we've got a few others, but, God, man, I mean, and then they're talking about maybe trading for Ramsey. Did y'all see that? Oh, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, so I mean, they're, good lord, y'all. I mean, it's it's definitely. Um, I think I would be safe to say that Panther Nation is a is a little optimistic right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, like, like on paper, let's go. Yeah, translate to the field, right? Yeah, but, uh, that's I mean, the key. That's the key, man. Is it what are we going to do on the field? Like you say, a quarterback's the, the glaring issue for us. If we're going to go after one of these these vets that are out there, we're going to go for a rook. Um, Frank Wright's shown that he's went the veteran route, so maybe he's going to go the draft route this time. But yep. uh, but the the big the, the only coach we got to get is tight end coach, and I had kind of joked to saying since Greg Olson's taking that pay cut, Fox will bring him in as a tight end coach because I think that'd be amazing. But yeah, um, that's only that's the only glaring need we need for coaching wise is that's it. But I, I'm I'm stoked. Yeah, me too, man. I, I mean, think we, um, I mean, I mean, you know, but us us three. I mean, good Lord, man, we started a podcast almost two years ago based on the Panthers. And, you know, it's been it's been a kind of a, a rough go of it of our two years together. <laughs> so I think we're all pretty freaking stoked. Yeah. What were you saying, you, Justin? What were you go saying? Ahead, Justin. I was just going to bring up Caldwell. I mean, we even brought him in as a assistant. Yeah. Like just to have him there is kind of big. Like, like as a consultant, because I know, yeah. Justin, you had messaged me. Uh, when the news hit, and I hadn't even seen it, and I had messaged you back saying we didn't bring back a coordinator, and you you were like, "What?" You know, I thought that was gonna be our offensive coordinator. You know, yeah. And yeah. then Sultan or a, a staff guy, you know, that's uh, you know, is is just nuts. Well, it's kind of like Capers too. Like Capers is a is a like a consultant, right? Yeah, yeah he's, he's a special assistant, basically the same thing as Caldwell. Right. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and Caldwell, you know, the thing that's weird about that, what I've been reading about is, you know, there's a lot of teams that have tried to bring him in in that role, and this is the first one he's taken. Um, so that's pretty impressive for them to pull that off. Oh, yeah. And I, and I do think that was what kind of separated Wright from 
Um, you know, a Wilkes or, you know, one of those other candidates that we looked at was his his coaching tree and his relationships he had built around the league. He already was bringing in going his interview saying who he wanted as a staff. And I think that's what really opened Tepper's eyes. And you can see it's translating with these 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 guys that we're picking up, you know. Yeah, I think yeah. I think I think that's that's a good point, Stephen. I don't know that. And this is a good God, guys. We've been on record. Look, man, we have no hate toward Wilkes at all. Yeah. Um, I got nothing but respect for that guy. And I just think I'm not sure Wilkes could have pulled this off. No, I don't I don't think he could have pulled this off. You know, I mean, this is this is top notch crazy stuff. Nobody no, I don't think anybody saw this coming. I don't think a lot of coaches can have pulled this off, to be honest with you. Me too. I mean, that's what's so impressive about it. So, and apparently Tepper's opening up his pocketbook because these guys ain't coming, you know, cheaply, I'm sure. Um, so good for him. You know, Tepper, maybe he learned. You know, he, he went the rule route. It didn't work. And it is what it is, man. Hey, I, I, I do want to say this, man. You know, I don't even want to look back. I'm looking all forward. Yep. So good, good for the Panthers, man. Happy, happy that they're maybe they're listening to the fan base, man. Because I mean, we're frustrated. Everybody knows, man. As a fan base, we're just frustrated, man. Oh yeah. So cool. Anything else, Panthers guys? I'm ready for the draft now. Yeah, getting close, man. I mean, they'll be here before you know it. Yeah. So cool. We'll talk. We'll definitely have a. We'll probably have a whole episode on that. <laughs> so. Oh, All right, cool. Let's talk about y'all want to talk about what Super Bowl? Are we good with done with it? Uh yeah, let's just move on from the Super Bowl. Uh congratulations to the Chiefs. Um, yeah. It was a good game. Yeah, it was a good game. Good game. And then, you know, and I I I do want to shout out Bradbury for for owning up to the call. Right. Um he, he I saw read this week where he said, you know, his parents raised him to take accountability and he did. So mm -hmm. good for good good for him. Definitely. Maybe next year it'll be us holding up the trophy. What's that, Stephen? Maybe next year it'll be us holding up that trophy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Wait, yeah. hey, we just want one, right, guys? <laughs> I'll take a winning season at this time. At this point, <laughs> hey, we'll just settle for a division title right now. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, all right, cool. Uh, where are we heading? We're going uh, Canes, guys. Yeah, it's a Canes, man. Man, you saw it last night, guys. If anybody watched it, um, that was a, quite a spectacle. I'll say that. Um, again, I didn't go. I had thought about it. Um, I kind of have a mini get off my lawn. We'll save that for this week in the studio. Um, but I did go up Friday night for the Hootie and the Blowfish concert, which was part of the festivities, and that was pretty cool. Um, had a good time. Um, but Raleigh was on fire, man. When we, we went to – the little street festival they had Friday before the concert. We went up there and Roaring Wright was up there. Chris had a tent up there. The Can you know, the Lake Norman Caniacs, a couple of those guys were up there. Cata, Miss Meow, all them. And it was a pretty cool little uh, street deal, man. Um, but it was a good atmosphere, I'll say that. I'm watching it on TV last night. God man, the, the national the national guys were just praising praising it so much. So Raleigh and the Canes, they did they did a heck of a job. Yeah, they, they, they brought it. I was watching that in uh, the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, which is pretty damn awesome. But I was going back and forth with that. But uh, Raleigh was, was was cranking it, man. It, it, was, it was crazy up in there. Um, I got to watch probably the first two periods. Yeah. And, I mean, the Canes brought it, too. I mean, we were looking Canes good. Canes on fire, man. And it, it was awesome. Justin, did you get to watch? No, I didn't. Yeah, it was, it was something, man. I mean, I'll say this, and I had made the comment during while I was watching it. You know, I made the comment, and, and, and I hate to I hate to make comparisons, but, you know, I have to tip my hat to Raleigh and the Canes organization because, I mean, they have really developed a hell of a culture, especially with fan base, with the Caniacs, and, you know, it's really caught fire. You know, winning, winning helps do that. Um. But right now, man, that organization and that whole fan base, man, it's on it's on fire, man. It is hot. Yeah. So it makes you proud as a fan, man. Well, like you said, winning cures all. Yeah. It does. It does. Hopefully, yeah. Wright Wright can get the Panthers back on that on that deal. So 
But good job by the Kings. Like you said, Stephen, they won the game four to one. It was really not even that close. Um, they just – they looked they, – they were dialed in last night. Um, and, and hats off to the people that did attend. I mean, 57 – basically 57,000 people, man. It was unreal. I know they, they kept talking about how they didn't think that Raleigh would be able to support that kind of a venue or that kind of event. Um, I think they knocked it out of the water. So hats off to, to all everyone that attended, man. That was a very good showing. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, just update, update the standings. Uh, we are second, seven points down from Boston. But we're, we're sniffing them. We're, yep. we're right there with them. At, at the beginning of the year, you know, you know, middle towards first quarter of the year, they were just running away with it. And we just, we finally kind of, we're trying to, you know, cover ground against them. Yeah. Um, being 55, or I'm sorry, 37, 10, and 8. Um, yeah. We're just rolling. I love it. Yeah, but I think they gained two points on the Devils, too. Um, so, yeah. But Devil, Devils are playing well, too, man. The Metro teams are, are playing pretty well. So, we'll see what happens, man. It's still got a lot of hockey to play, but Kane's looking good. Yep. Hey, shout out to our boy Natures, too. He should have been an all-star. He should have. He, he got hosed, man. No doubt. For sure. Justin, anything Canes? Go Canes. <laughs> I love it. I like that. All right, man, we're going to turn uh, left, guys. Yeah, let's do it. All right, Stephen, I know you had to work today. Um, and I don't think you got to watch any of it. I watched the entire race. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and, and we'll, you know, we can hit more in studio, but I will say this, um, as, as a person who's kept up with NASCAR, pretty much, I mean, like I said, my dad was a huge fan. I've watched it pretty much my whole life. I love the Daytona 500. It's just a spectacle. It is, it's crazy, man. It's, it's a Super Bowl auto racing. And I got to be honest with you, man, that was one of the most boring races I've ever watched today. It was just get in line and don't pull out. Oh yeah, you know. Well, I mean, I, 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 mean yeah, I haven't seen any highlights or anything like that. Um, I mean, shout out to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Oh yeah, I'm happy for him, man. For coming it out. I think he broke like a 199 yep. break streak or something like that. Yep, that's it. Yep. Uh, um, so shout out to him. I did see. I was I was trying to look at um, what the what the, I guess who was running, where they were at, and I did see that. I think Kyle Busch was leading, and <laughs> Austin Dillon a second. I said, son of a bitch, RCR. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it was cool, man. I mean, they were right there one two. And uh, you know, I just and I was gonna talk about Chastain too, man. He um I looked up one time during the race a day and he was last. And I was thinking, you know, last year, just for fun, guys, I looked up where our current drivers finished it last year. Mm -hmm. And Harvick, Chastain, and Reddick all had DNFs last year. Harvick finished 30th, Chastain 40th, which was last. And Reddick finished 35th. Well, I looked up today and Chastain was in last again. And I was like, my God, man, Justin's gonna have a freaking fit, man. But then oh. Chastain, he he moved to the front, man, and he and he he raced well until he got into one of the last minute wrecks. But it was tough, Steven. I know it looks like Harvick kind of took Reddick out. But yeah, I, didn't, I just know he wrecked. That's all I know. Well, Harvick was behind him, but what they they kept saying that it looked like Reddick was losing it. And so they interviewed Reddick, which I thought was cool, man. And they asked him, they said, you know, what happened? He said, man, I just lost it. And, yeah. and they asked him, they said, it looked like Harvick may have bumped you. Did you feel that? And did that cause you to spin? And he said, no, I don't think so. He said, I just, I lost it. Yeah. So I, I told her, I told my wife, I said, oh my God, I said, Steven's going to be like, man, your boy took my boy out. <laughs> so, I'm burning the, I'm burning the, yeah. <laughs> but no, apparently that it, he didn't. I mean, I give Reddit credit for owning it and not saying, yeah, he took me out, you know, so that was pretty cool. That, that kid's a, that kid's a class act. Yeah, it was cool, man. I, I yeah. loved the, the way he did that, but yeah. yeah, Stenhouse, man, it was very cool to just for him to get that win. Um, Logano, he's had a 500, so you know what? It, it's one of those Cinderella stories, just like Cinder, uh, Cinder last year, so Good. Hey, congratulations, Stenhouse. Yeah. Hey, shout out to Travis Pastrana, finishing 11th. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That dude That dude can race anything. It's got four wheels and an engine, I guess. Doesn't have to have four wheels, I guess. That, honestly, as long as it's got an engine and it goes forward. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So yeah. I've got, I got, guys, I did get last minute standings or update, you know, where they finished just our drivers, you know, just so we keep up with our drivers. And, I'm showing, yeah, Harvick finished, I think, 12th. Yeah. 
and he, you know, and he got into a last minute wreck too. So I think that was a pretty good recovery by him. Um, I did see where Reddick, unfortunately, because of his accident, he finished 39th. Yeah. And Chastain, where did I, where did he finish? Ninth. One in ninth. Go ahead, Justin. I got yeah, yeah. You got ninth. Yeah. So that was a good recovery by Chastain. Yeah. And, uh, Absolutely, Sarah. She showed me this fact. It was the longest running Daytona 500 in in NASCAR history, too. Yeah, they they had so many caution laps, man. They were talking about that. Um, I mean, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to crap on the race. It just, I love the super speedways, and it, you know, it get it just gets kind of boring when you just watch them get in a file like a train, and and everyone is scared to pull out because they're scared they're going to lose the draft, and you know, I want to see more passing, you know, that kind of stuff. So, I don't know. For the most part, I thought it was very boring. Um, mm-hmm. But, it's, I mean, it's, it's, the, it's the Daytona 500, man. It's always cool to watch. Right. We'll, yeah. uh, I, I will do a little bit of a get off my lawn on the, on the in-studio about the Fox coverage. I'll leave that alone for now. Okay. Sounds good. Anything uh, else on NASCAR, guys? They, they, they are at yeah. Fontana next week. They, they're in he's at California, right? Yep, Fontana. And I don't have the name of it yet, guys. I'll have it in studio. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It's going to take you all day to say it. You know, it'll be, you know, the, the uh, Orville Redenbacher popcorn uh, movie <laughs> 500. Movie theater 500. <laughs> but we'll have it, man. We'll have that on there. So anything anything else, guys, on NASCAR? Uh, go Reddit. Go Harvick. Throw Chastain. <laughs> All right, so college number basketball. One. College basketball. Oh, yeah, number one. That's right, Justin. College <laughs> basketball, guys. Yeah, go ahead. You can hit the Niners. Can I leave my Niners to last? Sure. Let's let Justin do the the, the other team. Oh, God, I got to do both terrible fucking basketball teams? hmm You know why? Because you do it so well. Great. <laughs> well, uh, the Tar Heels suck. Um, uh, I don't even want to talk about the Tar Heels. Oh, well, we just lost the state, so yeah, I will say this hats off to state because I mean, they brought it today. I mean, state's playing pretty good this year, they I mean, they're, 20, they're 23rd, but they look good like mm-hmm. um, 77 to 69. Nice, nice. nice. Uh, and we did what was the last one we covered? Wake. Yes, I think so. Yeah. So we beat the Braves, breaks off Clemson. Yep. 71. Yep. And then number 15, Miami beat us. Yep. Uh, 80 to 72. Yep. Um, and we got four games left. So I don't know. It's tough, guys. I'm just, I'm just going to be honest with y'all. They're 0 and 9 in quad one games. Yeah. Um, and they led late in six of those games they were talking about it today um i don't know man it's 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 gonna be a long road to hoe for them to make the tournament man yeah you gotta love a team that can't finish but um i thought that clemson game that was a turnaround spot for us kind of like yeah the duke game was last year i I I don't know what the disconnect is with this team i I just I, i can't figure it out dude I don't think anybody can, Steven. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Um, it kind of makes you think last year was a little bit of a mirage or a fluke or whatever. I mean, Manic obviously meant a lot to that team, but it, come on, man. He he couldn't mean – he couldn't be this much of a difference because because even when the, the team, the core is just they, – they look like they're just not happy to be playing together. If he, if he was that big of a difference, and, and this is going to sound very shitty – Excuse my language to Manic. No. If he was that big of a difference for that team, he'd be in the NBA and not in Australia. Well, and, and you got to think like that. You know? But, but it uh, sucks, man. Carolina's sitting in eighth place right now at eight and eight. But maybe he was the glue guy. I mean, he, he produced on the floor. I mean, he did, but maybe he was yeah. just a glue. You know what I mean? Well, it could have been one of those deals, guys. And I think this is a lot of it, too, y'all. I think that team just got a lot of confidence and got on a roll. Yeah. And the shots were falling. That's a big difference, guys. Right. Because they're not – this team it cannot score. And, you know, we talked about the, their defense, especially in the paint. That's just a recipe for disaster, man. It just don't work. And I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. Look, we're all Carolina fans. We've admitted it. Yeah. Carol, I mean, hats off to the teams that are beating Carolina. 
Because, you know, teams are going to get up to beat Carolina anyway because they got Carolina across their chest. Right. And if you can't match that and be ready for that, oh, well. You tip your hat to the other team and you just say, oh, well, that's the way it works. I'm not going to sit here and make excuses. But, I mean, if you, if, you, if you know that going in and you can't produce like Carolina is supposed to produce, then sit on the bench. It is what it is. Yeah. I mean, but it's kind of weird, guys. Like, I'm looking back at all the scores – we haven't really gotten dominated by anybody, but we've no. dominated a lot of teams when we win. Yeah. That's really? a good point, Justin. It's like when we're, when we're on, we're on, but when we're off, we're only slightly off. But we're off yeah. enough to lose the game. <laughs> it seems like there's no fire. I, I don't – something's just missing. And, and, I, and again, I I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I, what, I, what I will say is these are college kids, and, you know, on social media today, you know, there's a lot of people taking pot shots and things like that. And, you know, I try to – we all get – our sports fandom kind of brings out our frustration sometimes and we say things we probably really don't mean and we don't we, we, we don't think about the human element. Um, you know, I'm sure these kids don't want to lose. But, you know, mm-hmm. pot shots and cheap shots and stuff like that, I just think that's unnecessary. Yeah, I agree. Like, you know, you can say, hey, they ain't playing good and I'm pissed off they're losing, but – you don't need to be taking personal shots at these kids. And I see – I've been seeing a lot of that today, and I think that's – it's disappointing. Yeah. Well, they call them keyboard warriors. That's how it goes. So, it is what it is. But, hey, I hate it. Maybe the Hill I, – I, personally, I see the only way them getting in the tournament is winning the ACC tournament. That, that's, that's how I see it. I agree. All right, real quickly, I'll update. The Niners actually have won two straight. They're 16-11. and 11. They beat Louisiana Tech yesterday, 74-67 at Louisiana Tech. Um, they are sitting about the same as the Hills, about eighth in Conference USA. I think the only way they get in is to win Conference USA tournament as well. Um, but, you know, they started out hot and they kind of faded. So they're similar to Carolina's record. They're by, I think they're both 16-11. and 11. Yeah. So there you go. But uh, they got their next game. They've got um, this this Thursday a big one at Halton against North Texas, who's twenty three and five. It's a good, they're a good basketball team. Um, so I'm sure Halton's going to be kind of rocking out there Thursday night. So I don't know if I'll be able to. I don't think I can get out there, but if I can, I might go out there. So that'd be cool. That's it. An update real quick on Florida. Florida's fading as well. They're fourteen and thirteen. Uh, just uh, lost to your favorite team uh, or Stephen, your favorite team to say. Arkansas, how, how do you say it? <laughs> there you go. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're kind of fading, too. So, they got Kentucky next. So, we'll see how that happens or that goes. Top five, Alabama, Houston, Purdue, UCLA, Kansas. Uh, ACC team rank is Virginia 7th, Clemson 23rd. Actually, I, I got that wrong, guys. NC State's 23rd, Miami's 15th. All right. Your College of Charleston update. They're 26 and three. They just beat Elon 88 to 66, and they're still unranked. <laughs> so there you go. Go Cougs. Go Cougs. All right. Are we going Hornets? Uh, uh, just yeah, we're going really quick. Um, so the Hornets suck. Uh, we're in the All Star <laughs> break right now. Um, yes, sir. Before the All Star break, we won two games, guys. Yeah. Woo-hoo. Um, we beat the Spurs and we beat the Hawks. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we're looking up. We're looking up. We're fourth from last in the whole entire league um, at 17 and 43. So, yeah. We're playing just good enough not to get that number one overall pick, though. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Two game losers. I mean, winning streak. Man, that's amazing right there. Yep. Well, can, I ask, can I ask you all a quick question? And, you might, and, and I think y'all's answer will be different than mine. Yeah. Are you two guys currently – Watching the NBA All Star Game? No, I hadn't even cut it on. I didn't even know it was going on. It's funny you say that, Stephen, because I had no idea that it was in Utah. Um, I, I, and that that could be another conversation for an in studio. Um, I, I'm just not interested. It's like the Pro Bowl to me. I'm just not interested in watching a dunk fest. It's boring. Yeah. Yeah, I just I'm just not. So I haven't checked the score. I don't know who's doing what. I did uh, see the kid that won the slam dunk last night. That was crazy. Yeah. If you hadn't seen those videos, people go out and watch it. That kid was he was that I, the stuff he was doing was crazy. 
Well, it's just I was about to say, like, how much more can you? How many different dunks can you do? You know what I mean? I know. Right. I think his size contributed to why he won. Yeah. Um, he did some crazy. It's kind of like when Spud Webb won for, for right. you know for state. He's five seven. He's out there doing crazy dunks. So, but hats off to him. But I didn't watch a thing. I didn't watch one bit of the skills competition either because I was watching the Kane game. So. Yeah. That's it, man. Ah, what else we got? Uh, I do want to shout out. I think FC season opener is Saturday. Yep, it's coming. Yes, it is, and I. Don't have tickets. I went last time, but I, I'm not sure if I'm going to go. I may. It just depends on what I got going on. Right. Um, I am going up just a little quick. Uh, glad you said that, Steve. Even though I am going up to the Canes game next Friday. It is. They have this little thing that they have. It's a little series for the college teams around the state. It's called the Varsity, basically the Varsity series. Mm-hmm. And next Friday night is UNC Charlotte night, so we're going. Oh, very nice. Uh, they're, they're playing Ottawa, Ottawa, or something. You know, so we're going to we're going to check that out. So if I'm back, I think I'll be back. I might go to the FC so game. You guys want to impeach some senators? Is that what you're saying? What's that? <laughs> impeach some senators? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So yeah, but we're going to go do that. So other than that, and that's it, man. I, I agree with Justin. I'm. I look forward to the draft, man. I'm looking forward to the beginning of baseball, to be honest with you. I really am. It's right around the corner. Yeah. And I agree with y'all. Y'all, y'all were, we were talking in the studio last time. Y'all were talking about the Braves. And, you know, of course, I'm cutting up with y'all. I do think the Braves are going to be, I think they're going to be pretty good. Um, I think the Cardinals are good enough to win the Central. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, other than that, I, I think, I think the Braves are going to be pretty solid again. Man, I'm ready for baseball. Yeah, I do. I am. I got to be honest, man. I, I love. I'm just a baseball guy, and a lot of people think baseball is boring. I'm one of those that says no, it's not. So, all right, cool. Anything else, y'all? Um, I guess so. I, I will say, guys. Sorry, we we couldn't work it out till tonight, um, but we got it done, and that's the big thing. Um, we will be in studio this Thursday, correct, guys? And we will be uh, we'll be getting back to business. Sounds like a plan. Anything else before we wrap it up, fellas? Anything? I think we're good. All right, man. All right, man. On three, guys. Ready? One, two, three. We are. We are. Let's do it again. Really, with us. That was terrible. That was my fault. <laughs> I think we're all tired. You normally pause. Hey, that was my fault, guys. Let me do it slower. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. We, we are. are. <laughs> See. Yeah. Or good night, guys. Night. <laughs>